also to come, Braden, is going to be third place for championship fair bow competitions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the Vegas Shoot 2019 shoot-off for first place in the compound Young Adult Championship. Representing Michigan, it's Trevor Silverson. And representing Texas, Connor Sears. for the first place in the compound's female championship, representing the Republic of Korea, So Che Won. Representing Colombia, Sarah Lopez. Once again, under the Jada shoot-off rules, there will be one practice end, followed by end-by-end end sudden death. First end will be scored with regular scoring. After that, if more ends are required, the X-Ring will score 10 points. Bruce and the judges will call the scores. This will be a practice end to start. As soon as all the target faces are up, we'll get underway. All right, so the Bear Bow not going to be competing. They decided that one earlier, so they took that one off the docket just moments ago. So here we are left with two championship first and second place finishes. So Che Wan on the right part of your screen and the famed Sarah Lopez from Colombia on the left. And Braden, I had a conversation with So Che Wan before this match and she told me she had never shot a 300 in competition. She shot a couple at home in practice but never in competition and she shot three of them in a row here to get to this point. I'm sure that's true on the on the Vegas target, but I've seen her shoot some really solid games on the inner 10 that would have been 300s as well. Yeah. So <laughs> not sure how entirely true that statement is. Uh, might be some Korean propaganda at its finest. <laughs> so for So Che Wan, she shot a perfect 900 score with 76 X's, which means that out of 90 shots, she only missed 14 X's total. For Sarah Lopez from Colombia, who tried to compete couple of years ago now, right, in the championship class. She was able to clean it with 70 Xs. It's impressive, 76, 70, just getting the 900, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Sarah's been arguably the best outdoor final shooter among men and women over the past five years. And it's great to see her translating that success into indoors. There's the Soul Fan Club. Really enjoying the lights. And when I asked So about how did you prepare for Vegas? She's like, prepare what? I didn't even realize I was gonna shoot a 300, so there was nothing to prepare for. Right. But you know, for years, Braden, we've talked about Korea's dominance on the recurve side of the bow, but now they're starting to really show an interest in this compound, and both across men and women, they're really starting to produce some outstanding shooters. They really are, it's, it's gonna be a treat. But in terms of Sarah Lopez, that's the benchmark. She seems to have a second gear she shifts to into the finals, and it'll, it'll be, I'm excited to see if she brings that indoors as well as outdoors. Like so, taking her time. I said this ends just practice, They're getting acclimated to the surroundings and the conditions. Right, but just taking her time, making sure her feet are set and she's comfortable. She seems very intense. Sarah doesn't seem to have her typical Sarah swagger that she has outdoors in the finals matches. I'm mm. interested to see what her target looks like after the first practice end. Tell me what it's like to be just shooting a round of practice in front of all these people that are just talking away. Is it distracting or are you already that laser focused when you're in practice? From my experience, you are focused and you do hear the oohs and the ahs when, when somebody shoots a nine or a 10, you hear the cheering, but it doesn't really register in the moment as much. Well.
heard me mention that there are only three women to this point to do it. One was Mary Ham in 2004, Sarah Lance in 2014, and Tanya Jensen in 2017. But that woman and this woman, Soche Wan and Sarah Lopez, able to do it right here in 2019 with perfect 900 scores. And they, you think, Braden, that if you shoot a 900 in the women's class, that you're just going to be the outright winner. Right. We are like sitting. Look, he's out there three in history of the, <laughs> the competition until today. First Saw end. Saw that doubled. Yep. So first end of scoring. Yes, and this is regular scoring, big time. Lopez with a big breath. Big murmur on that one. So still hasn't even gone to full draw yet. Still 133 on the clock. Two minutes to shoot. This target faced 20 yards away. Ten for so, ten for Sarah. how much time so takes to get herself the full draw she seems so so intense and concentrating so hard in the moment it's it's really impressive Ooh. nine as well almost an eight okay Sarah so, answers with an X. so has 48 seconds left on the clock at one arrow to shoot you can tell she's just kind of rehearsing her release on that one Taking her time. We still have another shooter just next to her on the U side. Silverson also at full draw. But here we go. She needs us to tie. Oh, oh that appears to be a nine as well. That looks like a nine. So just like that on the first end of scoring. Very unexpected for for two women that didn't miss an arrow all tournament long. And Lopez threw her first one. Did she believe it? I don't think she does. Emotion already pouring out of Sarah Lopez. She has to wait for the official score. I think she can see what we all can see at this point. Tears already streaming down Sarah Lopez's face. An embrace from competitors. Is in one end of competition after Sarah Lopez threw a nine and probably thought it was over for her. Right, a total, total 180 of emotion. Wait, that the second is. arrow from So really rattled her. Yeah, it did. So wow, there it is officially for So a 28. Sarah Lopez, one end of scoring, and she's able to take home the title of Vegas champion for compound female and $10,000 difference for So Chewan. $5,000 she'll go back to Korea with. 
and just so close. Not a bad day at the office. Not a bad day at the office at all. Yeah, last night we saw Sarah take down the 2018 Women's Athlete of the Year, and she definitely, you know, grabbed that trophy again with her other hand for 2019. They always say uh, a Vegas championship is solidified with career. Sarah's had an outstanding outdoor career to have this such another Southern attack is just amazing. Definitely a shoe-in for the uh, Archery Hall of Fame. Oh, no doubt. Well, we still have the Young Adult Compound, the championship division to be decided. Trevor Silverson and Connor Sears. So we've moved now from Big Ten to Little Ten. Inside scoring, got to hit the X's to get a 10. If not, if it's outside, not touching the line, it's a nine. And Connor Sears goes right after. XX. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the pattern of shooting. You don't have to shoot it in a certain pattern. Right. A, lo um, a lot of shooters will start with the top target and then go bottom left, bottom right. Um, very similar to how you'd read a book. You know, left to right, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Some people shoot them in the order that they're printed on the paper. One, <laughs> two, three. Mm -hmm. That's the way I learned how to shoot it because someone told me at some competition you might have to. That shot from Ooh. Trevor was a little wild, but it's dead center, and it looks like Connor's got a nine on right. Yeah. So Trevor can win this with a ten. I can see the nerves. Good decision for Connor. Good decision. The first nine he shot since he got to Vegas in competition. Mm -hmm. Trevor drilled it. That's impressive. And that's going to do it because we can clearly see that Connor's got that nine. And Connor delivers, but it's too little, too late. As Trevor Silverson out of Michigan coming off as our number one qualifier, a perfect 900. 72x 17 years old getting ready to turn 18 soon and i hear Braden, when he turns 18 he's here. going pro <laughs> wonderful i can't wait to have him in the ranks uh, that's that was such an incredible display of accuracy <laughs> under insane pressure yeah so the elite shooter there it is the 30 confirmation that picture's going right on instagram oh yeah <laughs> gotta document that one So in the championship compound young adult division, it has been decided Trevor Silverson as a young adult and potentially his last young adult shoot mm -hmm. will leave here champion. We expect to see him in the big class next year. So fan club, this is when the archers head down to the bale to hang their targets for the first time. And Lopez knew when the shot went off, she had given herself a chance to win this one. Competitor embrace and Sarah Lopez trying, I guess, in a way to hold back the emotions, but just couldn't. Outstanding from her. 